how are you? It's a wonderful morning. About to rain. Let's do this so that rain does not come in. Yeah, it's about to rain, guys. Um, your girl here, Raquel Bless. Guys, I've not been feeling so good after the journey. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to explain to you. Here you can. There are some fruits here. A lot and lots of them. You see? Yeah, guys. And um, I don't know what really is the issue, but... Um, since since the journey um i've been feeling unwell and i really love oh. <sighs> guys uh this this is what we call passion fruits fresh from the farm they are here in Burundi. these um we call mandarin here but in kenya i think they are called sandrines mm-hmm here we have some guavas. Um, sorry. Um, an avocado here. Orange. In here, this one called tree tomatoes. You see? Yeah, guys. So, um, I was explaining to you. I've been unwell and it's raining guys. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. Yeah, so don't worry about the background. Uh, noise for rain because I just love it. I feel the breeze and the rain. You see guys. And uh, the trees swaying from right to left. Such a good experience, guys. Yeah, so I've been feeling weak, guys. I've been feeling tired, no appetite. Yeah, things like that. And I don't know the issue, guys. Um, I forgot to tell you something since uh since I gave birth, uh, I have some complications. I don't know. It just comes with the women who give birth. So if you gave birth and everything went on good, or you are okay, thank God. Uh, my face swelling, body swelling, I don't know. I just feel this is not my body guys I feel it has changed my joints are paining uh, you know uh, I I was in the village like three days ago and um, um, I can say when I, when I came back I rested and um, from the rest um i've been telling myself that it is just uh as a result of the journey that's why my body had to have some rest but even if i'm resting it's still continuing like no improvement in fact it's getting worse because it reached a time you feel like vomiting uh you feel like uh, just just weird you feel you're, you're not you're not in your in your body like the normal you know weak vomit nausea some shivers you feel so cold and that means you have infection when the body feels so cold you have infection and you need to see a doctor urgently so um from my waiting thinking that it is a result of the journey to the village I saw it's getting worse and then I now decided to visit a doctor. Initially, uh, I, I usually have complications as I, I was telling you. Uh, let me move out of here. Uh, the rain is too much and 
I don't think you can hear me well guys yeah so let us sit here oh um, I was telling you guys um, I I have some complications since I gave birth um, my stomach my stomach has been swelling at times at times it's okay you know and um, actually when I, I got pregnant before before I got pregnant I was this little girl with um, thin body like a small body then pregnancy came I started becoming fat guys I was I'm not uh, one year ago I was not looking like this um, it is a mommy body and I've tried as much as possible to return back to normal but uh, you know we need to embrace embrace our new selves once you are called a mom that's a privilege you know so um, I'm proud I'm proud of my body I'm proud of how I am and um, yeah you know the title mom is something good yeah so some stomach complication and uh, since then I've been in and out of hospitals mm. guys I didn't give birth uh, on operation like the CS I gave birth normal but my stomach since then I don't know what the problem is uh, I've been having some swelling then it reduced some pain even when you go to the toilet for a long call you find that it become difficult you know and now uh, I needed to seek medical attention I did all the um, the procedures like uh, medically scanning radiography name them name them um, and uh, I remember this day I started the process first they gave me antibiotics and nothing changed so um, they did radiography they saw nothing but they said I need to go to scanning I, I went to scanning nothing then they said I need to go to colonoscopy. Those who know colonoscopy is when a certain thing like is inserted in your body. It has a camera uh, like to see what is happening inside the intestines. And when I went there is when they found the problem. And uh, they found they have, they, I have some inflammations in the intestine. And... Um, I also had some hemorrhoids. You know, hemorrhoids, uh, they mostly affect pregnant women. So, since then, my stomach has not been good. The inflammation comes and goes, comes and goes, as uh, such that you can see in one video, my stomach can be so big, someone can think I'm pregnant. And there's one comment I saw a guy asking if I'm pregnant. No, I'm not pregnant. It is a condition I, I don't I'm not yet sure what it is and um, sometimes just my my so, stomach swells and I can do nothing you know um, I don't know what cause inflammation in my intestines but the doctor told me I should take some antibiotics of which they help but um, it was that time but the condition has been going on returning uh, I don't I think it's the food that I eat but guys I try to eat as healthy as possible like now you can see the fruit I've just shown you and uh, I don't know mostly I realize when I eat a, a lot of beans is when my stomach really becomes inflamed and uh, I try to cut on the beans and I go for the option B which is the peace at least I see uh, peace is taking me good and I try I, I look at what I eat uh, so uh, it has been like that sometimes my stomach swells sometimes it becomes normal and when it swells just know it's inflammation so the one who asked me if I, sorry the one who asked me if I'm pregnant the 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 answer is no I'm not pregnant uh, that's the answer 
uh, I've been having some stomach problems, swellings and things like that. And guys, uh, on top of it, after the journey, as I was explaining to you, I start feeling somewhat weird. My body is not like that. You can see inflammation even on the cheeks. So there are sometimes I just get inflamed. I don't know is the food I eat, it's allergy, it's what, I don't know. I'm, I'm yet to confirm. Um, it has been like that. And now I decide to go to the doctor again because... Uh, I wait three days to see if um, I will relax, like, as a result of the journey. That's what I'm, I thought to myself. I am tired because of the journey, but it turns out it's not that, and I want to go find, find the solution, what is happening to my body, because I have been having shivers, like cold. You feel so cold, guys, so, so cold, especially at night, and uh, sometimes headache. Like uh, now I feel slight headache, but sometimes I feel headache. Then when I eat, I feel like the food still remains on the uh, esophagus, no digestion taking place. And nausea, you feel like vomiting, but you don't vomit. And sometimes a problem when you go to toilet for a long call. Um, some stomach pains here, you know. And... Um, I take some supplements which have been of assistance to me. They really assist me a lot when I take supplements. And um, uh, apart from supplements, you know, if it's a condition, you know, like something caused by a virus or something like that, you need to know what is, what is the problem so that you know what to avoid or what to do. But for now, nothing uh, apart from the inflammation and uh, the hemorrhoids nothing else i know of but the hemorrhoids i got rid of them uh, through the help of medical assistance and the supplements they moved out themselves and um, now it remains the inflammation i don't know what happens when i take uh, supplements and uh, they reduce after they just return after some time for example, I can stay three months, I'm f okay. But the fourth month, I just get inflammation. I don't know, as I had explained, is the food or what? I'm yet to confirm. So yesterday, I, I, I decided to go to hospital. And it was late at night. Uh, some shiva, things like that, came up. And I become worried. Then I said, okay, it's at night, <sighs> and hospital here in Bujumbura, at night, it's so rare to find the generalist, like the doctor, doctors, you just go get some first aid as you wait for tomorrow. Uh, that's what happened. And now I want to, uh, I want to return to the hospital, at least before they close, I see how they can assist yeah that that has been the update so far but for now <laughs> i told you i have a supportive partner uh once he saw that um i'm not feeling well he makes sure i have everything <laughs> i have pastek those who don't know pastek it's called uh, watermelon they're in stock some pineapples and then this here at least <laughs> and they bring a lot these burundian men they think you'll finish and as much you don't have appetite so it has been like that i'll update you on the next so let us go uh, visit the doctor <sighs> yeah guys uh good morning um this another day, another morning, coming live from Bujumbura, Burundi. So I just to follow up on where I left, you know, um, after going to hospital. Yeah, so I moved out of the hospital yesterday night. Um, 
after i reached the hospital as i had explained i have been having some stomach issues and now some pains here and there so as usual they took some blood tests to see what's wrong and then uh, i was infused some anti-inflammatory and what we call paracetamol to reduce the pain and anti-inflammatory is for reducing the inflammation uh, still in the process uh, how my face are swollen actually it's all my body okay yeah so that's where we have reached and uh, at least the pain cooled down and um, I was allowed to go home though I am on some medication some antibiotics and some medication for nausea because I still was puking and um, no energy still I don't feel like uh, I have energy so um, you'll bear with me for not going out there to bring uh, content you know sometimes the body just shuts down or just some unavoidable circumstances you know uh, your health comes first if you feel that your body is breaking down actually you need to give it a break uh, so that's the progress so far yeah and I thank God for I am alive some people really are suffering from chronic life conditions that are irreversible and here I am at least I have life I'm breathing good air you know so today I woke up to eat this uh, some passion and some um, orange there and then I have my medications here. Um, this one, nausea for nausea. I don't know this for what. Then I have some here for um, antibiotics. Yeah. Yeah, and others are in the room. I've not yet managed to take them because those ones are not for morning hours yeah guys so uh, I'll only advise you guys to just support subscribe to this channel I have a lot in store but things like this are the uh, ones that come up and then I hope now you'll understand because uh, the condition I'm, I've been fighting you know and uh, sometimes you don't get it like um, I try as much as possible to bring you content every day uh, but you know that some things you cannot control you just need to just follow the process like go to doctor give you give you the medicines you know yeah so that has been the progress so far and i really thank you for sticking to this channel for supporting me the people who have been with me since day one or along the way you are part of my family i really appreciate you so so much so guys uh, i leave it from here i've been given some bed rest um, if you don't see me maybe but i'll try as much as possible to bring content just know i'm at home recovering uh, yeah it's not easy it's not easy but worth it okay yeah I'm not complaining I am not complaining if it could be the other way around like I have energy things like that I assure you guys I could it will, it would be banger 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 after banger but now these are the kind of things that uh, lag me behind somehow uh, but I can't complain because as long as I have health and I'm breathing, there's someone who is in a worse situation than I am. Yeah, so um, it has been like that. 
and I just ask for prayers, for recovery. But I was saying I'll be bringing for you content after content after content. Uh, yeah, so let me leave it from here, guys. Let's meet in the next video. But if you have not yet subscribed, remember to subscribe, comment, like, share, and hit the notification bell. For now, I'm out. I'm saying bye-bye.